Hey everyone, it's Codexel here. Today we're going to be showing you how to enable the SSH server. So it's going to be a fairly short video. Uh, first off, we're in our Ubuntu and the virtual box. Um, so to get towards your terminal, you know, on the top left, it's like your Windows key. And just type in terminal. And go ahead and click on that black box. And now we're going to start typing in these commands. So the first command is we're installing uh, the OpenSSH server. So this is the first initial step. We're going to go ahead and type in the password. And as you see, it's already installed. Next is we're going to copy the, um, the config and also the defaults. And now we're going to allow uh, permissions. So to write it, paste that in. And now we are able to edit the config file. So normally you don't have to edit the config file. If you know how to, this is the command to get towards the file to, you know, modify any um, functions that you want. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and just close out and move on to the next command. So depending on what um, version of Ubuntu you're on, I'm on 16 plus. Uh, so this command right here is not going to work and as you can see it's it's not going to work um, but for if it's uh, type this out on your end and if it works out then you definitely need to upgrade your um, your Ubuntu so this is the proper command for the latest Ubuntu to actually restart the server and we'll go ahead and paste that in and now we're gonna make um, make a directory for the SSH, and we're going to um, edit the uh, the folder. Uh, so C uh, CH mod, and we're also going to uh, generate us a RSA. And this is where you want to enter the um, 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 the files and whatnot. So um, you're just going to go ahead and uh, just press enter. And um, this is where you're going to allow yourself a password. So it can be any password that you want. Uh, for me, I'm just going to do it the same as my login for the Ubuntu, just to make it simple. And do that again. Okay, so that is too short. We need to make it longer. Okay, enter. Uh, okay, that time I did eight characters so now that we have our um, Ubuntu properly configured what we want to do next is open up putty and we're gonna test out if we can actually get a connection so how do you find out what the server IP is well you type in if config and this is your IP address right there the INET address so we're gonna move over putty this is our Windows client Or one go ahead and hit open and this is the alert that it pops up uh, this is fine go ahead and hit yes and this is where you want to log in so actual and my password and there we go we're in um, so that's fairly simple of how to set up a SSH server uh, normally it's not properly configured um, when you first install your Ubuntu so that's the first thing that we want to do if we're creating a Ubuntu server um, so if this video helped you out guys please give me a thumbs up definitely subscribe to the channel share this video and all the other videos on your social media platforms anything and everything helps out and I truly truly appreciate it um i'm going to create more series of these so look into the uh um videos around you for more ubuntu tutorials and also every saturday i am doing a q a uh i will answer any questions you guys have so if we go towards our um, um website the nolock.com slash ask me 
you can go ahead and uh, ask me anything. Uh, put in your, your name, your username, or just put in anonymous, the question that you have, who's the question for, you click on Codextual and you submit. So yeah, every Saturday I am doing a Q&A, so uh, feel free to ask me anything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.